FYI, just so you know, I also do edits of this video and we post it on a really um, big hair educational site, so it's for both of us. Um, and what's really cool about it is that not only is it inspiring you, the clients, but it's also inspiring hairdressers, which has got a double-edged sword, which is cool. Brushed out curls. So I'd like you to think about 1950s. I'd like you to think about almost um, almost the Charleston era. And actually, there's elements of that in the film Grease. Will you come with me? Just get a close up, please. You can see that um, the ringlets. They're actually, I love them exactly the way they are right now. Really, really, really cool. And I'm going to talk you through the whole process because when Camille's hair was cut for a Facebook Live we did about a month ago? Yeah, about a couple of months ago. And we did something which was graduated. Now, graduated means a buildup of weight from a short point to a long point. So you get that lovely fitted feel to it. And I've actually prepared a doll head, which Oliver's going to bring over. This is the shape of this this doll. It's I cut it on 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 natural hair, but this is what we call graduation. You can see that, can't you guys? That the the shape is full, it's plump, and it actually goes from a high side down into a long corner. Now this is a similar shape to what we did with Camille's hair a month or so ago, but we did a longer version. So it was roughly about shoulder length. Now, the fact that I've gone in with the, with the super tight tong and pre-prepared all this for you because it is quite boring. And I use this absolutely super cool tong. It's a Wham curling iron, curling iron, 12 millimeters, and it's revolving. Now you probably think, what on earth does that do? Well watch, turns, okay, there's the handle which captures the ends and I'll just show you one. We put the iron in close to the roots because we want the heat to be at that area the most and that gives you the lift and the volume. Then we wrap the hair in the normal manner all the way around the tongue but here's the amazing part, with any tongue that the tricky area is the ends because you're like, oh, ow, ooh, ee. Well, watch this. You get it to that point, the ends are out, and you simply revolve the iron and it takes them all the way in absolutely perfectly. So we've done that to the whole head. Uh, my partner in crime, Caitlin, did the left side and I've done the right side. And the way that we've produced it is we've set it with a very low side parting. So I'm going to start brushing this out and I'm gonna use a combination of things to begin with. I'm gonna go in with my Mason and Pearson. Okay, so we've got from left to right, we've got a Mason and Pearson extra large. We've got a Mason and Pearson med medium. We've got what we call a French soft brush, which is, has rows of teeth, but it's only short. And most importantly in this look, we've got what we call the toothbrush, the toothbrush. And I've got a series of tail combs because sometimes I like the teeth to be smaller, sometimes I like the teeth to be wider depending on the detail. I'm going to start um, brushing out. Okay, so with the head forward, starting at the bottom, so just let's just remind ourselves the bottom is the shortest point and all the length is in the inside of the haircut. So I'm just going to start brushing out and I'm using just the tip of the brush. I'm not going through like so, because that's gonna to put too much pressure on the hair and also will be sore. So I'm just using the tip of the brush to get the texture down. Tip of the brush. Now Camille's hair is colored and it's, it's blonde on the ends, dark on the roots. So this should be really beautiful for it. So I'm thinking like a 50s, sort of dancer with a beautiful little um, S wave in it, really cool, um, slightly rockabilly. And you can see the way that I'm actually pushing the brush through this now, I'm pushing it down, I want it to be flat. I don't want it to buff up at this stage now, at this stage. 
Okay. Just need someone to just pop their hand there so to allow me to separate the areas so that I can get in there with my brush. Now look, when I do that, look how smooth that is. And then I let go, ping. So you can already see when you look in the mirror there at what I'm getting. Now, you might want to swap sides here. When you think you're finished brushing, you keep brushing, keep brushing. And the mason does the job. See that, look, pow. That's where, there's the wave right there. So already, there's a look there. One lift, two lifts. Just get it out of our eye. Now, where my fingers are now is essential and I'm holding the hair down. I'm trying to be strong with it because I want it to stay in these beautiful little S shapes. So Camille, could you just close your eyes a wee sec, gorgeous? I'm just gonna give my hand a little spray and I'm just gonna tuck all those ends in, like so. And the shape, the graduated shape really lends its hands because you can see the force that, that has. It's quite incredible. So I'm just going to change the direction now. And I'm just going to go up. And it's just so amazing and pliable. Look at that. I can change it. And she's suddenly gone to, she's suddenly gone from 50s model to Madonna. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm, now I'm going to have a bit of fun with it. show everybody what it's possible of, this head. I mean, it's just the best texture ever to play with. Just with a brush, I can get it straight back where it was and that is because the foundation is immaculate and the tools that we're using do the same thing so we went from smooth brushed out to something a little bit more turn around 360 something a little bit more expressive and voluminous all the way. But you know, the foundation's there. It's just really, really sophisticated and elegant, but at the same time, you can change that hair and make it look modern. So I've got, this is my extra large mason and it just gives me more grip. So you can see I'm straightening that out almost with my hand, almost. But as soon as I let go, the curl comes back. So it's about me manipulating that into a shape that I wanna see. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed that. Um, uh, yeah, I could keep playing with this hair for until Friday. Well, it is Friday now. But yeah, brushed out curls right there. Thanks. Bye, Camille. Bye. Bye.